this is lecture 15 on matrices, <coughs> and it's on eigenvalues, eigenvectors, and diagonalizations. There's a lot of stuff to go through, and there's a lot of examples as well. Right, definitions. We have two of these, the first set of them. Uh, so we have a column vector x, so a column vector. Uh, <coughs> it has, it's an eigenvector for A, which is the matrix you'll be given as a question, if X doesn't equal zero, otherwise it'd be a, a zero matrix, which is useless, and if the matrix times the vector is the same as something at a, the sc a scalar times the vector. Yep. <coughs> so, uh, lambda, th that uh, here, the value you find, that is the eigenvalue for A. Uh, we've got examples to make it a bit simpler to understand later. Uh, and how to solve these kind of questions. First you have to find the determinant of A minus lambda I, which is the identity matrix, equals zero. You have to make sure that that, that will be true. Uh, and then you have to solve this, which is A minus lambda identity matrix times X equals zero. And that's how you solve these. So I've got an example to make it a bit clearer. Right. Uh, this actually started off, I tried to do it on uh, my birthday, but it didn't actually work properly. <laughs> so we have, uh, find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of this. Now first, if you remember, just like I just said, we have to find this equal to zero. So first we need to find this part. So if we put in our values, oh, just, never mind that. Uh, we have this part, which is the A, minus lambda times the identity. So we have this minus that. Perfect sense. And it's the uh, determinant as well. So we do this, and we'll end up with this, 1 minus lambda, 0 minus 1, 2 minus lambda, determinant. And if we find the determinant of that, we get this. Uh, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, and then what you'll do, you factorise this, and you'll get your values for lambda, which are 1 and 2. And these are your eigenvalues. Yeah. Next part. Now I need the eigenvectors. So for the eigenvectors, we need to do this. We have a i lambda, the a minus lambda identity matrix times x. Uh, that's your column vector equals zero. So first off again we have to subtract it. Now what we use for lambda we use one of our values I just used one value here which is the lambda equals one. You can also you you have you, you have to actually you do it again for lambda equals two but I only did one of them. So this is the first attempt. The second attempt you do uh, two two. Yeah. And this uh, you do the subtractions and this should if I've done it correctly equal this, yeah, which it does. So, let's have a look. Um, we have to times this by the column vector, x, so I have times that by x1 and x2, but, yeah, which gives you this, and this has to equal zero, yeah, because it under, do, do, do. Um, and so what we can tell from this, uh, zero equals zero, this X, x2 minus x1 equals 0, so we have x1 equals x2. Now the best thing to do here is to put x2 in terms of x1, so that's what we've done here. And then what we've got now is we have uh, our, our new vector here, and this is our eigenvector, this here. Oh no, sorry, scratch that. This is our eigenvector. Uh, but this is just pure coincidence that these are the same. So what I've done, I've taken x1 out of it. So say you had something, you might have had uh, x1, 2x1 down the bottom. So you'd have 1, 2, and take the x1 out. Uh, then we multiply. So we have our normal a times this, and this will give you your eigenvector. As you, and it is pure coincidence that the values are 1, 1. Uh, it has nothing to do with this. 
It's just pure coincidence. All right, next we have diagonalization. Right now, this uh, uses eigenvalues. So I'm going to use example that we just used as well. Uh, right, a matrix A is diagonalizable if A can be put in terms of a matrix which can be inversed times D, which is a diagonal matrix, so it has it only has values along its diagonals from the top left to the bottom right, and these values along the diagonals are <coughs> are the eigen values, but put in numerical order. I tried it not not in numerical order, and it didn't work at all. Um, Oh, and that's it. Yeah, uh, I pref it's it's generally easier if you you instead of trying to inverse p, uh, which you can put down as a standard result, because uh, we're using x y z w. Uh, we ha uh, I use a p equals p d, which is exactly the same, because p inverse is one over p. You move the p up, so I've got a p equals p p, uh, p d. That's what I use. Alright, example. Uh, Find if <laughs> find if a is diagonalizable uh, if and it should be swapped over. So this is our same matrix again. So like I said, we have to put it in terms of a p equals p d. Uh, just put all the p's are in the middle, so you basically get p equals p. If you want to remember that, so you have one zero minus one two. Uh, X, Y, Z, W, I don't know why I put the W at the end, but never mind. Uh, and we have our diagonal matrix here, which, if you remember from the previous example, I've used uh, the eigenvalues, which you went to do. So if you uh, put this, this kind of question first, you'd have to find the eigenvalues, which isn't that hard, you just remember what we did before. Right, so what we do, we multiply these out. For starters, so we do X, 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 Du, 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 du. So we have uh, x, y, um, 2z minus x, 2w minus y, and this uh, we just multiply down, so we have x, z, 2y, 2w. Alright, and uh, yeah, so that's right. Yep. So that's fine. Now we can just equate them. So what we, what we can find out from them is that x equals x, y equals 2y. Now y cannot equal 2y unless it is 0. So we've just worked out that y is 0, because that's the only case that y can equal 2y. Uh, next up, this equals that. We just shuffle the z over. So we have z equals x, if you move it about a bit. Uh, and this equals that. Well, we already know that y is 0, so we have 2 y, 2 w equals 2 w, w equals w. So, what, what can you do with this? Well, we need to form this matrix. Uh, you, well, you can use, and you can use whatever values you like, as long as it abides to these rules. So, we have to have y is 0, and you can have things like this. We have to have uh, x has to equal to z, so we've got x equals to z in all these. Uh, w can be whatever you want. So nine, seven, one, uh, and that's it. So we know that it is it is diagonalizable. Yeah.